Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we are going to upcycle some thrift items that I've gotten. And I'm just gonna wait a little bit for some people to hop on. I hope everybody's having a good evening tonight. Y'all come on and watch me. There's some people hopping on. Hey guys, say hey once you get on. Hey Danica. I gotta get this little notification off my screen. There we go, I can see everything now. Hey Sylvia. The TV's on, I gotta turn it off. Hey Tracy from Minnesota. Hey Danica. Hey Crystal. And Rochelle, hope y'all are having a good evening. It's really bright in here tonight because my I guess the sun the sun sets on this side of the of my house on my craft room. Hey Shaney. Hey Deborah and Martha. All right, I didn't know if I'd have anybody or not because I didn't know, you know, this is not the, my night to go live, but I decided I would hop on. Uh, I got off work early, so I had some time to come home and get some stuff prepared, which I kind of already prepared some stuff ahead of time. Hey, Bobby. Hey, April. Hey, Patsy from Oklahoma. Hey, Brandy and Lindy. All right, guys, so we're going to get started. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to show y'all a technique that I've done for, um, thank you for sprinkling, Bobby, that I've done before. Um, I've sold uh, a lot of, uh, at my vendor booth in the past, I've sold a lot of um, glassware this way. And I'm going to share to y'all. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I finally got my, got rid of all my COVID roots. You know, it's forever. Hey, Dana and April, thank you for sprinkling. And Janie, hey, Deborah. I did have a good day at work, actually. It was busy, but it is good. It goes by quicker when it's busy. So, um, thank you for sprinkling, Glenda. Yes, it helps my page if you sprinkle. And tell your friends and all that stuff. It helps my page. The You know, Facebook will put you out there more. So, if y'all do that, thank you. So, I'm going to show y'all tonight a technique, like I said, that I've done in the past. I've done it a lot. I've sold a lot of glassware this way. So when you see stuff like this, of course, this started out as clear glass, okay? This beautiful decanter, I actually have two of them. They were $2 a piece. See, they were clear. See, the bottom is still clear. Um, yesterday when I got home, um, oh, thank you, Tarita. Thank you, Melissa. Hey, Kathy. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, so, um, when I got home yesterday, I went outside and I actually spray painted these. Um, they were clear. As you can see, the bottom is still clear. They were, they're real pretty glass. I got them at Goodwill for $1.99. They were $2 a piece. And so, um, so I know people are probably cringing because I spray painted them. Um, they, they're not antique glass or anything like that. They're just, you know, just pretty bottles. So, you know, when you, um, when you go places and do see things and see these glass bottles or see any kind of pretty decorative glass, you know, you got to think of it as, you know, as what I'm about to show you. Uh, some of you may have seen this done before, but <clears throat> I'm just, I've done this and you can do it any color you want, make it pretty, but you, you're going to be amazed at how pretty this is when we get done. Um, I actually spray painted this little jar it was kind of blue. I don't know if y'all can see. It had a blue tint to it. Um, it was clear, but it had like a blue. I don't know if y'all can see it. It had blue tint, and it's from the Dollar Tree. But see, it's got all these raised uh, little squares on it. So we're kind of going to do that. So that so when you're looking at glass like this, that's kind of what you want to look for. You want to look at something that's got some texture on it, because um, we're going to make that really pop out and be pretty. Okay. Um, I've done this in the past, and I'll tell you, with Crown Royal bottles, they are really pretty. Um, they have a pretty shape to them. So if you know somebody that drinks Crown Royal or that is a bartender or something like that, get them to save you a few because when you see what I'm going to do, you're going to be like, oh, i got to do that. And then you can have something free. Um, when I spray paint, mine runs. You have to just do just little light spritz of spray paint and try not to get it to run. Actually, usually I do have some runs on it, but it's really not going to matter because it's got all this um, texture. So it's going to be totally fine if you have 
some little runs on it. It's just going to give it some character. It's not going to be as noticeable if, as if you had just straight flat glass, okay? Thank you for sprinkling. I got my blue lantern last night at the dollar store. <laughs> you ran to the dollar general, Penny. You're so funny. You, what did you use the spray paint with? This was just some paint I had. I think it was like Rust-Oleum, and it actually was some kind of metallic black or something. It's kind of got a metallic sheen to it. It almost looks like that oil rub bronze, but it's really not going to matter with what we're doing because we're going to paint over this, and this is going to be our back color. Um, so um, black works. I mean, you know, just whatever. If you wanted it to be white and white to show through, then you could do that. So, um, so we are going to transform these. So let me see if I can get this little stopper out. <laughs> but I love these bottles. Um, my dad collected bottles and he loved bottles. And I think I get it honest. And that one, it's got, it's got like this little plastic piece on there. And it is stuck in there from the spray paint. But it's really not going to matter. Let's see if I can get it out really quick. You got two lanterns today. Awesome. That would look cool if you did two. And then you put them on your fireplace, like on each side or something. That would really look cool. Hey, Susan, everything's going good. Now I can't get these out of here. Let me get some pliers. Because I wasn't going to worry about it, but now I'm worried about it. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. Got me some little hemostat things. I saved these from, this must have been wet when I stuck these down in here because now they're kind of stuck. But I'm just not going to worry about it. It'll be okay. Um, looks like a dream of, it does look like I dream of Jeannie, doesn't it? Do, do, do. That's an old show. You're showing your age. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm going to kind of set one to the side. And um, I'm going to go with a little color tonight because I feel like I always do like white or gray. Um, I got this color's pool. It's from uh, Waverly. Y'all know that's my fave. I did get it um, this past, the weekend I went to see my friend in Meridian. I just happened to see it at Walmart. And I was like, oh, I'm grabbing that because I don't have that color. Oh, cool, Tina. That Those wood beads are awesome. I love anything to do with wood beads. So, um, yeah. So, that's what I'm here is just to try to, try to inspire you a little bit. So, you might can... Um, do something, you know, to see something else and go, oh, I can add those to this and make it all and spin it all new. So, um, so I'm just going to pour out a little bit on my plate. It's probably going to take more than that, but I just pour, I like to pour out a little at a time because I don't like to waste my paint in case I don't use that much. And I'm just taking a regular paintbrush and I'm going to paint this whole jar and chat with y'all. Um, you collect bottles and have done some crown oil bottles and need to send you some pics. Oh, cool. Yes. I want to see. Um, thanks Deidre. I'm glad you're here too. Um, this might take a couple of coats just because it's that darker underneath there. But, um, I haven't tried it painting the, the bottles white and then painting with a dark color. I've not tried that before. So that's something I probably need to try. Um, but I've, I've not ever done it. So if y'all have, you guys will let me know. Thank you for sprinkling. So yeah, I got off early and I said, I'm just gonna go home and get on live and talk to my friends. <laughs> so y'all always make my day better. My husband's gone to, um, he meets with the, some of his friends and plays cornhole. So that's where he is. So he's doing that. He loves playing cornhole. And I said, well, I'm going live tonight since you're doing that. So, so I'm just, Trying to get in all these little crannies. And see, it covers really well. I am going to have to have another coat, though. But one's going to be drying while we're painting the other and vice versa. So, it's going to be good. I'm trying to see. Let me grab my little fan. Hold on. I'm coming back. I'm just right here. Y'all can see my honey on, on the camera. <laughs> I have to bend over. So, I'm just going to... Um, now, i got to plug it in. Sorry. Oh, it's okay, Paige. Hang on. Let me plug in my fan. Now, I have, um, I feel like I have mission control down here because I have a, um, a strip of electric strip over here. I plug everything into and all that, but let me turn it off because I don't need it right now. Oh, I know Dana. I wish I could do it every night. It's just, um, thinking of ideas and other stuff that I have to do and take care of my family. <laughs> 
I wish I could do it too. Um, but Colin is coming up tomorrow in his U-Haul and we're going to start the process of getting him moved. So, but I will, I'll be live to, uh, let's see, Friday night. I'm going to do it like Friday night because we'll be back. Um, Craig and I will be back in time to go live. So, I got one of those little fans too. Mine is turquoise. Oh, cute. I bought a little turquoise one from the Dollar Tree and it eats the batteries, so I just go back to my little, uh, it plugs in, it's a little desk fan. It plugs in, and now's a good time to get them because I know Walmart has that whole aisle of fans, and that just helps me dry some of my stuff while I'm waiting, you know, while I'm doing something else, and it dries it a lot quicker. Um, I can use the heat gun too, but this glass gets pretty hot. So I'm not really worried about this first coat. I'm just kind of putting it on there just to get it covered. You might be too tired after moving. Well, I, I'm not gonna be like picking up a lot of heavy stuff. Um, my back's been giving me fits and so I don't wanna make it any worse, but it's, it's better now. It was hurting me this morning, but it's better. Getting old, I guess. That old age stuff setting in. Go ahead, chime in, Colin, and say, Yeah, Mom, you're getting old. I'm waiting for it. Colin is at um, church, and he's doing their live stream stuff. So he's he's on here, but I don't know how much he's commenting or actually watching. But he's kind of halfway watching and listening to church. So do y'all like to go to Goodwill and find some treasures? I do. I have one in a little shopping center that's right around the corner from my house. And um, they should know me by name by now, but they don't. <laughs> they should. It's okay, Becky, you're fine. I just took this bottle. It's a, it was a glass bottle like that. And I took it outside yesterday and I spray painted them. And we are gonna make them all pretty. Not that they weren't pretty before, but now I can't pick this thing up. I need to move it. To make room. I need a huge table. I need a room size table in this room. And I don't have room for a room size table. Okay, so I got that one. I gotta paint the top. Can't forget the top. Looks like a doorknob. <laughs> don't it look like a doorknob? <laughs> so anyway. Uh, let's sit in sprinkle. Thank you for sprinkling, Debbie. Wisconsin. I love me some goodwill too. Oh my goodness. And where I'm from. Meridian, Mississippi, like central Mississippi, they don't have Goodwill there. They don't have stores called Goodwill. It's just, they have a couple of little thrift stores and that's it. But I moved up here and I was like, oh my goodness, this is wonderful. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. My kids are like, I'm not going in there, mama. And I just, I like to recycle and repurpose stuff and make it all pretty again. People get rid of. And what they do have. I know some stuff, they have gone up on their prices on stuff too that I've noticed over the last few years. And I don't know if it's because us crafters are getting stuff and using it or what. But um, but we have a couple of other little thrift stores that I go to also. Yeah, Goodwill can be high. I like to go on Sunday and they have the, I don't know how y'all's are, but my, my Goodwill here is um, one sticker price color is a, is like half off on Sunday. And you don't know what color it's gonna be until you go. Ooh, take care of your back, yes. Okay, so I'm just kinda, all right, I got that set to the side. So now, what color do y'all think I should paint this one? I was thinking about an off-white color, maybe. There's a good wheel, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, every corner where I live. That's awesome. Where's my water? I don't have it all together. So I'm gonna put this in here. Hey Donna, let's see. I've got celery. Have y'all seen this color? It's pretty too. I love this little green. Um, and then I have, of course, that steel that I used last night, I think it was. The steel color, and then I have plaster. It's kind of an off-white. So I was thinking about using this plaster even though, you know, because I want to put it in my house and I want it to, you know, match my stuff to the pound a lot. Yeah, we have one of those too where they just throw everything in the, 
these bins and they weigh it or whatever by the pound. Agave. Vote celery. Okay, guys, I'm going to go celery then. So I'm going to go celery. So we'll have a blue one and a green one. Yeah, the celery is really pretty. That one didn't have that top on it like that stuff. I don't know. It was weird. So let me see if I can punch a hole in it. I like to punch a hole if I can, just so it, I can just squeeze out what I want. Yeah, this is really pretty. So, all right, let me make room for, like I said, I need a, uh, a room size table, I feel like. Yeah, I like the green. So I'm gonna do the green. See how pretty it is? It's like a, it's like a sagey kind of earthy green, but it is pretty. Um, y'all know I love this paint. I want all the colors. I'm trying to find all the colors. Um, I like this. I just like the way it covers and it's very forgiving. It dries really fast and it just looks good to me. Um, I've actually painted, um, I, I painted the end table not too long ago with the black and it turned out so good. It looks really pretty. So beautiful color. Yes, it is a pretty color. They don't have a brighter green though. I figured they would kind of come out with a, you know, they have the, they have this, um, pool color and then they have the agave and then they have the that ocean that um vicky knew i don't know if she's on or not she sent me a little bottle in the mail of the ocean and i was just tickled to death i was like she said i know you can't get it and i've i've got several bottles so i sent you a bottle that was so sweet of her that was really sweet so i have that that ocean color too and it's like really pretty blue it's like the blue in that flag over here it's like that color it's really pretty deep deep really pretty blue It's very pretty. Looks like you got your hair cut. I did. I got my hair cut Monday evening. Um, I had it scheduled for Friday when I got off work at 12. And then Colin, all this with him and moving, I had to change my appointment. And so the only time she could do it was that was Monday or it would be about two more weeks. And I was like, oh, no. But so I had to not, not go live and get my hair done. And then I went on live last night, and then I'm going live tonight. I'm trying to make it up to y'all. Hey, Kathy. So I'm trying to make it up to y'all. But so, what are y'all's favorite? Some favorite finds at Goodwill. What is it? Something that you just look for when you go? Do y'all have any favorite things that you just that's you know you pick it up every time you see it? Or how can I send you some paints and stuff? I have tons of it. Oh, you don't have to do that, Crystal. You don't have to. You don't want to. I have tons of paint, too. Y'all seen my paint. <laughs> it's just the chalk paint. You know, because right now, it's crazy. You can't even get it. So, I'm just going around this bottle and get to chat with y'all. And, and we'll do another coat. I guess I'll paint that little bitty jar, um, maybe plaster. Spindles and candlesticks. Good candlesticks. Awesome. Oh, they have a malachite. I've not seen the malachite. Awesome. I didn't know they had a black color. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you very much. Um. So, candlesticks and spindles. Rolling pins. Yes. Um. I see those occasionally. My things I go for when I go in there. Only because I make those little snowmen I showed y'all that I'm going to do um, probably Christmas in July. Um, I, um, I look for the vintage salt and pepper shakers or just any kind of different salt and pepper shakers. They really don't have to be vintage. but um, And I turn them into snowmen. You know, I've showed y'all that. And I'm going to probably be doing that next month when we have Christmas in July. So I'll be um, doing that. Just paint, 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 paint. And that blue one's drying. Let me turn it around where I can get that side. I thought I was going to be able to get this with this one little puddle of paint, but we'll see. Maybe. I want to 
So what do y'all y'all what do y'all like to find? Uh, somebody said candlesticks and spindles. Some people go in there and you know they look for collectible. Um, I know Pyrex is a big thing. The collectible Pyrex, the vintage Pyrex, I guess you call it. I know you know people collect to collect that, and I see it on occasion. I actually bought some of it. Oh, thank you, Delina. My Dollar Tree just got a whole inventory of salt and pepper shakers, and everyone is using with the butter dishes. Yes, um, I, I still I haven't seen the butter those clear butter dishes in a while because everybody was doing them, and so um, everybody was buying them out. And I mean, I ha I have a couple, but um, I've seen those white ones that they've got. They're not the same. They're the white. I mean, you can still do it, but it's uh, it's not the same. But, uh, so hopefully that's dry. See, that needs another coat. Lace and snowman. Oh, lace is a good one, too. Um, I like to look for, like, those lace um, curtain panels and stuff like that, too, because I'll cut those and do stuff with them and make... Uh, I use a lot for like tassels and cut it up in little strips and stuff like that. So yeah, lace is a good one. Haven't been to a thrift store in years. Kathy, you are missing out on life, girl. Missing out. I find some good stuff at some thrift stores now. The best thing I probably, well, let's say, I wouldn't say the best thing, but the most expensive thing that I've ever found there that's, um, you know, work. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to paint this green. My little top. Y'all are gonna let me forget. All right, we gotta paint this. <laughs> um, doilies. Yes, that's a good one. Oh, thank you, Kaylee. She just reminded me. Um, the the probably the thing that was probably worth the most that I've ever gotten at a at a thrift store was um, I got vintage Pyrex, which that's that's can go for a good bit of money too. Um, yeah, I look for stuff to craft with. Um, I found some earrings and I, for the life of me right now, I cannot remember the name of them, but they're like a brand, so some, I don't know. They're like the, the Swarovski crystal, the big Swarovski crystal earrings and they're st sterling silver and I got them for $3.99 and they're like $60 earrings. Um, I did get those. Of course, I cleaned them really good and soaked them in alcohol and all the good stuff before I did anything with them. But um, I got those, and I was just shocked because they were they were expensive earrings and they were sterling silver. And I was like, yeah, I didn't know what they had. But I think those people look up all that stuff. Is all Pyrex vintage? No, when I say when I say the Pyrex vintage, I mean like um, they're colored, like they're blue or light pink or the light green. They come in like a whole set comes in a different color, and they don't sell them anymore. Um, if you look up like go to eBay or something and look up vintage Pyrex, it <clears throat> it'll come up, and they're all different. They're different colors, like blue, pink, green. That's just what comes to mind. Yellow, I think there's some yellow. Um, and those sell for um, buffet for my craft room. I want a real pretty buffet for um, my living, kind of living dining room area to paint. And every time I seem to find one, it's never a good time. Like my husband's out of town. Y'all see, look, I'm getting paint on my arm. I, I get it everywhere when I craft. I saw where somebody said buttons and dollies and old records. Yes, that's good. I, buttons, definitely. I see a jar full of buttons and my heart just goes pitter-patter. <laughs> I love, y'all know I love my buttons now. Never can have too many. Hey, Kathy. Okay, so that's dry. The green. Now I'm going to come over here and put another coat. I'm going to take this brush. On my blue. Where's my blue paint? Y'all as bad as me when y'all set something down on your table and then you go back to pick it up and you're like, what did I do with that? That's me all day long. Well, not all day long because I work, but all the time when I'm in here. Okay, I just showed the snowman. He's up here on the shelf, actually. Um, I just showed him because I make the head with the same, um, 
the same clay as the gnomes. Octopheel puts back some stuff and auctions them in their annual fundraiser. Oh, wow, okay. I don't think ours does that. But I just wonder if those people, hey Stephanie, I wonder if those people are back there um, looking stuff up on eBay and that type of thing when they price it. That's what I wonder. I see them all the time. Yeah, I, I see a buffet and I'm like, uh, can't get it. My husband's out of town or something like that. I don't have a truck or something like that. Oh, Judy, well, welcome. We're glad you're here. You got a bunch of, of good people on here that watch and um, being positive, happy place. Hobnob glass, yes. Look at this. Speaking of that, Pat, look at this glass I got from Dollar General. Isn't that pretty? Now, see, this would be pretty doing the technique that I'm going to show y'all. Um, same, the same thing. Um, painting it, spray painting it dark under there, and then we're going to paint chalk paint on top. Um, and we're going to distress it. But this is the same, same um, concept. But I love that hobnail glass. Anytime you chance for you to show it again. Yes, when I'll hop up in a second and I'll show it to you. And have to get it. It's just on a shelf because I showed it the other night. But I make them out of vintage salt, sh salt and pepper shakers. Um, they don't have to be vintage. I mean, you can use the Dollar Tree ones. You can use any salt shakers, really. I just like to find some different ones. Um, that would be cute as a pineapple. Absolutely it would. Isn't that cute? I didn't even think about the pineapple. See, y'all have other ideas I don't have. And we just help help each other. You almost got one of those jars today. Oh, goodness. The little, they're actually glasses. Yeah, they're little glasses at Dollar General. See, it was a dollar at Dollar General. And I loved it because of the bumps on it. So I'll probably, um, hey, Deidre. Thank you. Um, I'll probably paint that little glass. It's actually a glass. And I'll probably paint it the same what I'm doing now. And then I will um, put flowers or something in it. It'd be really pretty. Or anything like that. You could use it in your bathroom to hold your toothbrushes or your makeup brushes or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm hoping I'm not boring y'all to death sitting here watching me paint a jar. But I just wanted to come talk to y'all. and Because I'd be in here doing something anyway. Um, I was cutting out stuff some orders I had to cut out and I did that but um, I got some cute stuff I'm gonna put in my shop the wood pieces I'm gonna got some stuff that I'm gonna put in there oh you're not bored okay good <laughs> I like watching people paint too I need to <clears throat> I need to paint some canvases and do some stuff I know I got to show the cotton bowls yeah, I love this color too. But y'all see how light it is? And then when it dries, it's a little bit darker. Yes, Pat, those dollar, those glasses, they had, I want to say they had um, the glasses. I think they had bowls and stuff too, like a whole, kind of like a set that was, but they're, you buy them individually, but they were like a set. Like you had, they had stuff that matched. And I just bought one, one glass because it looks like a vase to me rather than a drinking glass. I mean, I don't know, let's see what it says. It says tumbler on the bottom. So, yeah, a dollar. You can't beat that for a dollar. Pretty that thing up, yeah, it'll look cute. So, all right. I think two coats is gonna do it. Just gonna paint the top and then paint the top, the real top. Let me roll it over here because I'm going to pick it up and get it on my fingers. Put it in front of my little fan. Ugh. Okay. That's where I make a mess. It's where I touch something. Watching someone crafting is never boring and inspiring. Well, thank you. I just didn't want to bore y'all to death. But, like I said, I've done this technique for a while. And I just, you know, some people have never seen some stuff. So, yes, it'll make a beautiful vase, Pat. It sure will. Um, and some people, you know, we kind of, we all kind of take for granted that just because I know how to do something doesn't mean that y'all know how to do it and you may have never seen it before. 
And the same with all of you. I, there's stuff that, <clears throat> what color is this? It's pool. Probably can't see that because of the light. But it's pool by Waverly. See? Um, it's really pretty though. It's like a light sky blue. It's robin egg blue almost. It's really pretty. But anyway, what I was saying was, um, there's stuff that I know that y'all don't know. And then there's stuff that y'all know that I don't know. And... Um, I like to get on here and talk to y'all and y'all help me choose colors and different stuff and things I should do and because my ideas aren't always the best ideas. He loved that he keep talking and crafting. Donna, I could talk to that light that I have up there if it would, you know, act like it was interested. I could probably, I promise you, I could talk to it. <laughs> I don't have a problem with talking. Never have. And I told y'all before, you know, People, when I was growing up and in school and stuff, people would, you know, say stuff about that I talk too much, I talk all the time. And then I had a lady one time, and she goes, honey, she goes, that's your gift, is to be able to talk to people. A lot of people don't have that gift, and don't let the devil lie to you and say, um, tell you that you need to be quiet or not that you talk too much because that's the devil telling you to, you know, trying to get you to not use your gift. So I was like, yeah, that's pretty much the truth. Cause I, I mean, I know people that they can't talk to strangers. I can talk to anybody. Applying to Brenda. Oh, uh -oh, Brenda. Uh Oh, did she say something bad? Uh oh, I'm sorry, Brenda, if you're unhappy. I'm just talking to my friends and trying to paint on paint. Sorry. But if you can, you can click the little X at the top and you can go. I mean, I don't want you to go, but if, uh, if you need to go, then you're more than welcome to go. You just wanted to see the project. Oh. Okay. Well, this is the project. We're just painting these jars. Um, and of course, it takes a little bit of the time. Um, you can watch the replay and fast forward through the whole thing if you want to. I just enjoy talking to my friends. And, um, but you're welcome to watch the replay and zip through the whole video. But, you know, my purpose here is to talk to y'all and make friends and, um, try to create a community here of like-minded people like all of you that I enjoy talking to. Oh, Wendy, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm just trying to... I know this is the boring part, but it's real life. Oh, thank you, Dana. Thank you, Sylvia. Y'all are so sweet. Y'all just make my day. Y'all just don't know. That just makes me want to want to tear up, but I'm just... I'm not, <laughs> but, um, you know, some people just, you know, think that this happens really quickly and it doesn't. I mean, this is live video and it's, uh, it's real life, you know, it is what it is. And I can't rush this process at all. Um, but it'd be different if I was just sitting here not talking and just painting. <laughs> oh, Katrina, you're sweet. Y'all are just so sweet to me. I, I, I can't ask for a better group of people. I really can't. And I'm, I'm thankful that every one of you are here and come to watch me time after time after time. And it means so much to me. I mean, my husband is just... He's just in awe because he just, he's just like, it's just amazing that, you know, you know these people and you don't, um, you don't know them, but you know them and they keep, they show up every time and it's just amazing. Yeah, see Dana, if I wasn't talking and telling y'all about stuff, then you'd be like, okay, she's boring. We got to move on. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Yes, Cindy, I do too. I wish y'all were all in this room and I could just sit here and we could all just chat and chat it up. 
<laughs> I know. Thank you, Brenda. I understand. You want to see the finished product, but if it, you know, I could do that on YouTube. I could just snap my fingers and it would be done. And But I like to get on here and talk with my friends. And since it's live, I have to just do it. So, most of my other videos are that way. I mean, we get right to the project and all that. But this painting just takes a little bit. And it's okay. I don't mind it. It would be, yes, it would be great to craft together, wouldn't it be? It would be so much fun. I'm ready to go back to the old days where we everybody could get together and now we're confined to not getting together. Yeah, this celery is really pretty. I'm kind of glad I did this now. Y'all know I'm the white, gray, and black, cream colored, usually my palette. But that's just what matches my home, so maybe I just need a little pop of color. Oh, Mary, that's sweet. Yeah, we try to um, we try to bring some joy into people's life and just keep carrying on with life and um, talk about things. Shy when I was young and finally overcame it. Good. I've never been shy. I can promise. <laughs> never been shy. There's a girl that's on here, Kimberly. She's, I've known her my whole entire life, and she'll tell you. I've never been at a loss for words, probably, how many times in my life. And she's going to come on there, and she's going to say, um, verify that here in just a second. I feel it coming. But I've known her for a long, long time, and I had not seen her in a long time, but she's still my friend and always will be. We've. We have some stories we could tell for sure. All right. It's not all the way perfect. But now I feel I feel rushed now. Does that make sense? But it's okay. Just want to get it covered. I didn't think about it, it was going to be boring to watch me paint. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty, isn't it? And see, look how good it looks with the blue. Isn't that very pretty? So, trying to let it dry really good over there. Okay. I think I got, like, what I want. Maybe. And I got to paint the top. I won't forget the top. Okay. Now, set it over here in front of my fan. <clears throat> Don't rush, okay? <laughs> Only one wanting you to hurry, not the rest of us. Yeah, okay. I won't. But it's stressful. It's stressful being on here, guys. It really is. It's first time I went live, I was scared to death. Scared to death. Oh, thank you, Pat. Thank you, Pat. You're sweet. Y'all are sweet. Love the blue even more. Um, I do too, but I like the celery. I like the celery. So does all of y'all shop at Goodwill or no? Some people won't go in Goodwill. My husband's one of those people. Now he'll go in there, but you know, he would be rather be like, oh, you just go on by yourself. Yeah, I like watching the transition too from where it started. And I didn't even take a before picture, but it's okay. But the next time y'all see some, some glassware at the thrift store, it's really cheap. You're going to be like, oh my goodness, I know exactly how I can make that pretty. Not that it's not pretty already, but it just gives it a new life. Y'all, so y'all go. Yep. It's just, you never know what you're going to find at the thrift store. And it's, it's kind of like the thrill of the hunt. And you walk in and you see something that you've been needing or looking for and you're like, Oh my goodness, there it is. You never find anything in Goodwill. It, it's just hit or miss. I mean, some days I go in there and I, came, come, I come out with the same thing I went in there with. Nothing. <laughs> but then sometimes it's, you know, I find a whole bunch of stuff. Hospice thrift store. That sounds interesting. I'm all about some hospice. Oh, Lord, what did I do there? 
I must have hit it with my hand. Imagine that. Okay. So now, got our little blue. Now here comes the exciting part. Put my paint, lid on my paint, because I'll knock it over and have paint everywhere. A little something something. Yes, Deidre. My husband loves Goodwill. He buys all his work jeans there. Awesome. Yes, Donna, a, a viewer sent that to me. Dana, actually, who's on here, Dana Merritt, she made that for me, and it says a little something something, and it has my logo and everything on it. Is that not the coolest thing? It's so pretty. It has my name. Isn't that neat? I admire the people that make those cups because it, I don't know if y'all have ever tried or even saw anybody make those cups, but it is not easy. Oh, cool. Yes, the, I, my, I was about to say that um, my dad, he passed away um, three months after my mother did, um, which was difficult, but uh, I made it through it. Um, but he wanted to be with her. They were married for 51 years, but uh, he was in hospice. He had a brain tumor, and we didn't know anything about it until it was that big. And they gave him six weeks to live, and he made it five and a half. And he spent that five and a half in a hospice facility. And they were so good to him. They were so good to us. And it, it takes special people to be in hospice. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're just going to get down to the fun part. Sand and sponge. So we're actually going to take off some of the chalk paint and reveal that black that I put under there. So like I said, if you wanted to paint your bottle white, and then maybe chalk paint it black and sand it and let the white come through. I've never tried that before. I guess I need to try it, but um, that would be pretty too. You're in Walmart, Kathy, looking for paint. God bless you. Yes, they, they are special people. I just don't know, but they, they sang to my daddy and everything, and it was awesome. They were just awesome people. So, like I said, this is where all this raised stuff is really going to show out. We're going to sand off that paint. And this is one of my older. You can look at it. It's terrible. The edges are all coming apart. Um, this is one of my older sanding blocks because the paint's going to get on it. I do have some new ones. but the um, So, I'm just going to let me get on the coarse side. So, it's got like a coarse side. These are Dollar Tree, by the way got a coarse side and then it has a, a finer side um, and I'm just gonna kind of just no there's no talent to this whatsoever and I'm gonna get off a good good bit of it and it's only gonna take off the raised parts and it may take off some of the the sandpaper I mean uh, spray paint too but that'll be okay you're not gonna be able to really tell but look guys is that not the coolest thing? It's so pretty. That is so neat. Um, like I said, the Crown Oil bottles are really pretty because they have um, this filigree, intricate stuff um, on it. And it, it turns out so pretty. So if you know anybody that drinks Crown Oil, um, <laughs> kiss my country. That's so funny. I thought I said funny stuff. That's so funny, Sherry. My brother's wife works in hospice, didn't seem not sure exactly where. Oh, okay. No, Michelle, she was just wanting me to hurry up and get to the project, but it's okay. It's all right. We're getting to it now. I just have to paint. Hey, Cindy. Yes, and it's going to be gorgeous, but we're, we're going to add a little something, something to it, though. Y'all know I can't just leave it as a bottle. We're going to do something to it. But... I'm going to lay it down and just kind of sand. I mean, I'm just kind of going every which way, kind of going with this this little rim around the top. I'm just go in all these different directions and take off. You can take off as little or as much as you want. It, you know, just do a little, do a lot. It's to totally up to you. But look how pretty this is. And see that black shows through? And you could totally do the same Probably the same look if you just kind of dry brush some black or whatever color over it. But um, I just like this because it's it's totally uh, um, it's real. You're actually taking off the paint. 
And see, I'm putting the corner, like the edge of this block in that little groove and taking off some of that. And it's just gonna really define that line that goes around the bottle. So cool. So yeah, be looking for some neat bottles that's got some like definition to them. And that's all I'm doing. See, see that line all the way around that little crease? It looks so cool. But now if you did this glass, this wouldn't be hard to do either because all those little bumps are raised and it would be so pretty done like that. That's why it's sitting on my table because I didn't know Where'd I get the bottle? I went to Goodwill and I got two of them. One of them we painted silvery and the other one we painted this color. Everybody kind of voted. Oh, Kathy, they have every color in stock. I'm so jealous. Everybody's jealous of you now, Kathy. You shouldn't have told us that. I heard they were restocking it. So, um, looks like I got paint on my arm. I don't doubt it. Yep, there it is. I cannot craft without getting stuff on me, so I'll get in the shower and be like, what in the world? So, yeah, I'll have it everywhere. That's why I wear an apron most of the time, because I'll have it all over my clothes. That's why this mat looks like it does. And it makes it, it makes dust, so beware of that. When you sand it off, it's just like chalk. Chalk paint. <laughs> Wait till y'all see this part. These round, they're like little round um, dimples in the bottle, I guess I'd call them. And this is really making them pretty. Look how pretty. See, we took something old and kind of just plain and we made it really pretty. We prettied it up, as I say. And then you can just kind of, and this is an old sanding block too, but it's actually doing a good job. That's one thing I like at the Dollar Tree is their sanding blocks. Sand and sponge, whatever you want to call them, but look how pretty that is. See, I can see some flowers in it. Yeah, where's Kath Kathy? Where you live? <laughs> we're going to go, we're going to go bust up in your Walmart. Okay, Dana, it's fine. Thanks for hopping on. Oh, Mexican. That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome, Mexican. That's like my favorite. That's my family's. My, my Colin's favorite and my youngest son, that's his favorite. I love Mexican. Thank you for sprinkling, Shannon. I know, isn't this so pretty? Let's, this part's a little harder to get to. So I'm having to use the side. That's what I love about these things. They're all the way around. They have stuff on them. So I just turn it whichever way I need to. Got to use a little elbow grease and get some of it off. Let's see if I can get some off on this flat part. Just kind of make it look a little worn. Dalton, Georgia. Now, what's that near? Is that near Atlanta? Is it? Okay, we're going to all go to Dalton, Georgia. Me, Kathy, at the Walmart. <laughs> they must be restocking because it's been so... I do too, Lori. It's called Pool from Waverly. Kathy's in Walmart right now in Dalton, Georgia, and she can get you some... <laughs> Cause she said they have all the colors. I'm like, oh my goodness. Jealous. Isn't this cute? Okay. So I think we're done. I could probably go on and on and on and keep on taking off what I want to take off. Whew. I got to get a baby wipe though. It's so dusty. It is dusty. So I'm just going to kind of just hit the high parts without trying to, cause see it takes the paint off. <laughs> But that may be the dust. That may be just the paint dust. But look how pretty that is, guys. Isn't that so pretty? Look. It just brings out those accents so, so pretty. I'll take them off right there. And I hold it up to the camera, I can kind of see a little better. Look how pretty that is. There. It's awesome. 
Yeah, we had to book a flight. We'll all meet at Walmart in Dalton, Georgia. Kathy's paying for it because I want them all. That's right. That's right. Okay, there's that one. Let me wipe up my mess here. Whew. And if y'all don't use baby wipes, I get them at the Dollar Tree. And um, they're a little dollar for the little Huggies pack, and I buy them all the time. Okay, so I got to do the top. So see, it started out all just plain Janie. It's pretty much easy because I can hold it in my hand and kind of... And it has those dimples on it too, just like this does. And it's going to look so pretty. So now y'all are all going to go to Dollar General and get a lantern that I did last night. And y'all are going to go and get... Um, and get you some Goodwill glass. Or either go to Dollar General and get this because this would be beautiful. That's why I bought it. I use pool on mason jars and paint. Yes, mason jars do too. Do good too because they have that the ball word. It's raised and they look really pretty. Now the Dollar Tree ones, they have ball jars too, but they also like that watermelon one I did right there. It didn't have anything raised on it, but you can still distress it, so it would be fine. Okay, almost done with that. And I'll show it to y'all. Look how neat that looks. See, I want to get down in these little... There we go. That's why I love these sponges. You can just kind of mash them around. How cool. See, otherwise you just wouldn't really see that. It would just kind of blend in with the glass. But it's so pretty. See, can't you see these sitting on your bathroom counter? Look how stinking pretty that is. That is gorgeous. It just pop, makes it pop so, so good. They're so pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna do the green one. Let's see. Y'all, celery color that you pick. Yes, I will come on and I will post a picture. No, but, oh, there's no picture button? I don't think you can post pictures, I don't think. Target has 72 count fragrance favorite watch for $1.39, awesome. Yeah, these, now these little jars, this came from the Dollar Tree, and see, it's got little raised squares, and I, I set it out here to do it too, but it took me a while to paint these, so um, I'll probably do it. But that one won't take long. But it'll be pretty too. All those little squares will just pop right off of that jar and look so neat. So have any of y'all ever tried this before or done this before? I know somebody said they painted, um, yeah, on a mantle or a shelf in a little vignette or something with that lantern that I, <laughs> I did last night. So it looks so pretty. Very, very pretty. Well, I hope y'all try them. And y'all, if y'all like me, you probably got some stuff stashed away in your craft room um, that's kind of similar or something. I have a whole um, a little glass stash in my craft room in here of glass bottles and candlesticks and stuff like that that I get. And because you know, I used to do stuff and resell it in my vendor booth, so I would redo it and sell you know sell stuff like this. On the top one, it makes me think of dreaming. Somebody else has already said the dream of the uh, the genie. And that plastic thing, there it goes. See, look how pretty that is. You could decoupage something on there, like the napkins, you know, in these little these little circles right here. You could put letters. You could do all kinds of stuff. Definitely be watching the replay. Well, Terry, what I did is I got these Goodwill bottles. I spray painted them with like a black color. And I let them dry. I did it yesterday. And then we chalk painted over it. And then I'm just sanding off all the high spots. And that's what it looks like. Um, I've done this for a long time. This this method or technique or whatever you want to call it. And I've sold um, bottles. So we're actually going to make a little would-be tassel. And we're going to hang it around the top of them. Um, I've hung like metal keys uh, with lace and stuff around the necks of them and they just look so pretty. 
But just think of the colors that you could paint. I've done this with other paint besides chalk paint. I've done it with just regular latex paint um, that I had left over for some project. So it doesn't have to be chalk paint necessarily. So try it with some craft paint. I'm sure it would be just fine. So pretty. Yeah, when I saw them at the Goodwill, I, um, I, um, I knew instantly what I wanted to do with them. They were sitting there together on the shelf. They looked so pretty, and I was like, those are mine. They're going home with me for $2 a piece. How could I not? That's awesome. This one's coming off a little easier. I don't know why, but I'm taking a little more off of this one. Some of it, it took some of the um, spray paint off too, but it'll be okay. You can't tell. You can't tell. I got a little crazy rubbing it with my sand block, I guess. This is just easy. I mean, it's a little elbow grease, but other than that, I think everybody can paint and sand, right? Goodwill is very high. We have a Faith Resales Goodwill. Yeah, I like those kind of places. We have one up here, too, that's called House of Grace. And it goes the money goes to a um, battered women's shelter. And I go there a good bit, too. And if I take stuff, I swear I try to take stuff, too. This sanding block is seeing its better days. <laughs> I'm just going to be in the garbage. Are you still running? No, Tarita, I did, I'm not running my booth anymore. Um, I... I'm so busy with this, with the page, and then um, I'll cutting all my stuff for my shop my, with my Glowforge and all that, and then just family and work and all that. You know, it it just had to go. It wasn't. It was just time to not do that. You know, because um, everything I got's online and now, and it just went in a different direction. But my still, my booth. You know, all my stuff still tur was turquoise Valentine. Um, so it was still the same name. I just, um, just just went in a different direction. I'll stick with yard sales in Dollar Tree. Yes, I love yard sales now too. I love me some yard sales, but you can find stuff like this at a yard sale for sure. Whew, this is dusty. Where did you charge for your gnomes? I have people liking them and not sure what to charge them. Let me think. The big ones, like. This guy, I mean, I charge like 15 for him, and I could sell them all day long like that. And that's, you know, I have people tell me, oh, you're too cheap. You should go up on your price, and because it does take a little while to make them. Kaylee, as you know, because you've made a whole family. Hey, Newman. Um, Newman, I'll, it's funny that you jump on tonight because uh, Jonathan that's on here, and we call him Newman. He actually gave me a whole bunch of Crown Royal bottles one time. And um, I painted a bunch of those. So, but you have bartender friends or anything like that? Yeah, hit them up and ask them what they do with their bottles. Because um, they throw them away, probably. So don't, um, wine, you know, wine bottles are pretty too. They just don't have that decorative stuff. Oh, that's a hot mess. Where's my vacuum? Yeah, I, I just don't like to be too high. I don't like for people to think that I'm ripping them off and I'm, um, you know, it's, it is homemade, it's handmade, um, but I just don't like to be, you know, outrageous, um, like what I would pay for it. Really, just call me out like that? Well, I said get, get them from bartender. <laughs> He's a bartender. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, if y'all know anybody that's a bartender and, um, or even just drinks Crown Oil, there's no crime in drinking. Um, I don't drink a lot, very, very rarely. Might have some wine. 
Yes, I posted the link to this vacuum uh, last night because somebody had been asking about it. Um, but uh, it is awesome. This little thing is awesome. It's got a USB, and that's how you charge it. And then you just, when you want to empty it, look at all that mess that's in there. Fuzz and dirt and whatever. And then I just empty it in my trash can, and they're ready to go again. Pick up all kinds of little stuff. Cause this is making a mess or someone who likes to drink yeah <laughs> you're there to sell it not price high and then take it back home that's right you don't have to, you don't want to take it back home with you because believe me i have boxes in my garage full of stuff that was in my booth that i don't know what i'm gonna do with <laughs> I guess I'm gonna, I'll have an auction or something and donate the money. Yes, Kathy, there you go. Check with your son and say, I need some fancy bottles. Lots of um, liquor comes in pretty bottles. The Crown Oil is probably my favorite bottle to craft with, besides seeing something like this. Their bottles are gorgeous. And they'll put out a special edition every once in a while. Yeah, I've seen the light, Becky, I've seen people put lights in them, and you can get, you can get those corks, and the corks have lights, and they go down in the bottom. So you could do, you could totally do that, Becky, and you could not paint it black, leave it glass, paint it, and then distress the heck out of it, and then put the lights in it, and the lights would show through where the paint, you scrub the paint off, and that would be so pretty, so pretty. Good idea, Becky. Way to go, Becky. Redemption centers, they often sell them to you for bottle deposit. Oh, okay. See, y'all got some ideas. I've never heard of that. So yeah, this little vacuum, man, it just sucks it all up. All right, so now we've got that. Look how pretty, look how pretty. Gorgeous. Okay, I gotta wipe my hands off. I feel like I've been messing with chalk. I have. Put what you have in your booth in your shop and I would buy it. <laughs> Sylvia, I need to. That's what um, my cross the street neighbor, that's what she told me. She says, you just need to put all that stuff on your shop and just see what happens. Because I've got stuff I've painted. I've got gnomes. I've got, um, I've done the lights absolutely. Yes. Some people drill holes in the back, but I've seen those corks. I know those corks. They're little plastic corks, and it's got like a battery in it, and it's got a little switch. And the cork goes in the bottle, and the lights come out of the cork and go in the bottle. So you don't have to drill the hole. So, um, so we, um, you can do that, and that would be gorgeous. And they can be leave at 8.30. Oh, yeah, our Walmart clo closes at 8.32. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is, guys. I don't even know how long I've been on here or nothing. Okay. Auction time. Yes, Michelle, I'm going to have to. Love, love, love the ball. I do, too. I love them. I think they're gorgeous, y'all. I can sit there and let, let y'all stare at them while I'm, while I'm getting, um, getting my... This twine came from the Dollar Tree. It's cotton twine. Um, I always seem to make them out of jute, so I'm going to do something different tonight. I had to search my craft room over because I knew I had bought some of this. I don't know where it was. Oh, look, and they even put a piece of tape to show you where the end is. Nice. Normally, you have to sit there and find and find and find. Okay, let me show you the snowman. All right, hang on. I'm going to get the snowman. Or the snowman. This is actually, he's not, um, he's not a salt shaker. He's a Cracker Barrel um, syrup bottle. But I, pa I painted like a watermelon the other night. And um, he's got the clay head. And I usually, this one's not, but usually I take the cap off the Cracker Barrel bottle and I make his hat out of the cap. These bottles came from Goodwill. Hey, Tammy. So, yeah, this is just a Cracker Barrel syrup bottle. And then I take the clay and I make them. But I'm going to show you all that uh, in July. So, um, so y'all be ready for that one. So, I got this twine. And I'm just going to, I don't know how y'all uh, like to put your wood beads on your twine, but this is how I do it sometimes. 
Yeah, he's really cute. I'll put him there so y'all can look at him, too. So y'all can see him. Um, but I put all kinds of little pearls and glitter and all kinds of little stuff inside there. And make... They're really simple. You're going to be so surprised, like the gnomes. They're not really hard at all. Just make a little, a little ball. And the nose. Sometimes I use a toothpick for the nose or a... a, a shish kebab skewer. I couldn't get it out. I couldn't think of what it's called. So I just take a little scotch tape and sometimes I'll put hot glue on the end of my twine and then I'll just kind of make it where I can thread it on these beads. Because, you know, it gets hung in the middle of the beads and um, then it won't go all the way through. Got a huge bag of syrup bottles from Cracker Barrel Monday. Yay! Awesome! I use them for all kinds of stuff. That little watermelon one I painted, where is it? Here it is. That's Cracker Barrel syrup bottle. And those little seed things are were already on the they're already on the bottle. They look like little seeds. So I just painted them. <laughs> um it's just thinking cute. It's going on my tear tray. Y'all, I'm telling you, I'm ready to take my 4th of July stuff off my tray and put up my watermelon stuff because I love all the watermelon stuff. Missed the painting, but those are gorgeous. Tammy, these were bottles I got from Goodwill. They were just clear glass. I spray painted them with a black spray paint, was just what I had, and let them dry. And then I painted them with chalk paint. And then I just took the sand and sponge and I just distressed it where the raised parts of the glass are and it just makes them pop out like that. Or you could dry, you could just paint it with chalk paint and then dry brush over with like a darker paint. Oh, the truck, yes. I lucked up on that truck. I just walked in one one day and there sat that turquoise truck and I was like, oh, it's going home with me. Got his paint some for my tear tray. Yes, put you, paint you some little watermelon bottles for your tear tray. Or put, you could paint them a solid color. And since they have the ray stuff, you could sand it off and do the same exact thing, just like this. Put you some twine around it. Put some little flowers or something like that in it. That would be cute too, because they have that raised stuff on the glass. All right, so now I'm just, just putting some, my wood beads. And I just want to see how many... I'm gonna do okay maybe one more one not one more maybe a few more yes so yeah y'all still looking at glass and um, you could do pickle jars like this you could do there's have a bunch of jars at the Dollar Tree that has the ridges on them and different things like that you could do that Don't throw them away. All right, let's see. Let me see if I got enough. I don't even know how many I have. Maybe a couple more. Go slow. I want to make these. Okay, I'll show you how to make tassels. They're really simple. They just look hard, but they're not. Find, find to find the eggs to make watermelons. I know, I wish I had a whole bunch. I'd send y'all some. I just dug those out of my Easter stash. And I'm trying to see how I want to do this because I gotta wonder if I should just do a loop around. I don't know. I'm thinking about just doing, uh, let me show y'all. If I just do a ring of beads and then put a tassel hanging off of that, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Be glad to send you some. That's so sweet, Crystal. You're so sweet. Got my eggs to do the watermelons today. Yay! Yeah, Hobby Lobby is still, um, they are still, or had some eggs and stuff. You could do the plastic ones. Um, they'd be fine. I'd probably glue them together where they wouldn't come off in part, but you could totally do the plastic ones if you have some, um, plastic. Plastic ones. Okay, so, let's see. Just trying to kind of gauge how many I need. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this and then I'm gonna attach my tassel here, I think. So let's see. So I'll see how many. These are the 20 millimeters, so it really doesn't matter how many because y'all don't have the same jars as me. 
a chain would look pretty too yes or some lace and i've done the like skeleton keys the little fake skeleton keys i've done those so let me see how i want to do this okay i think i'm just going to make it like a bracelet just like that and i'm just going to tie them together because this it'll slip over the top easy okay all out of their Easter stuff. Mine still had a little bit. They had a lot of plastic eggs, though. I think everybody's, like, done on the plastic eggs. Okay. So, I'm just gonna... So, I got me a... I got a bracelet. <laughs> yes, I, I wanted to go by Michael's, and I thought about it the other day, and then I totally forgot, and I'm sure they're all, they all sold out the same day. Probably. Do y'all go get the Michael's grab bag? That's awesome. You want my address? Y'all are so sweet. Okay, so now we're going to make the tassel. I'm just going to leave it this plain twine because it's cotton. I think it's going to be pretty on one of them. So all I'm going to do, and there's different ways you can do this. This is just my easy way of doing it. So I'm just going to put my, my end of my um, string or jute or whatever about to the end of my hand, and then I'm just going to start wrapping until I think I think it's um, enough. Just, I'll sit here. Depends on how full you want your tassel. Just keep winding and winding and winding. So they won't save the bottles for you? Oh no. I didn't, I've never asked them. I just get them when we go. Cause you know, there's five of us and if Colin's there at six. And so we go through a lot of those little bottles when we eat at Cracker Barrel. So I just get everybody's bottles and take them home. <laughs> Look like a little old, little old lady stuffing things in my purse, my all these syrup bottles, I, and I'm like looking around, making sure nobody's looking like I'm stealing something. They're just gonna throw them in the garbage. So I'm just wrapping a whole bunch. Okay, so now, and I try to end down because I know I'm gonna cut down here, so I just kind of cut it off down there, and I start down there, so that way that end piece is part of the tassel. <laughs> Y'all laughing at me being a grandma stuffing them in my purse? I do. I feel guilty taking them even though they're going to throw them away. I don't know. I feel like I'm stealing or something. Your closest. So you don't go. So Tammy, you don't. I thought you lived in Little Rock. Didn't you tell me you lived in Little Rock? Okay. So let me think about this. Alright, so I'm going to take my a piece of twine and I'm just going to put it through. I got this little hoop of of my string and I'm just gonna put it through there and I'm just gonna cut it I, I'm just gonna leave enough to where I know I'm not gonna use that much but I'm gonna use enough I have enough to where I know that I have plenty to tie it on so I'm gonna lay it down just like this okay my little bundle or whatever you want to call it like that and then I'm gonna take um, I'll just leave it on here I'm gonna take another piece I'm gonna leave a little tail about like this. And I'm gonna put it on here. And then I'm just gonna tightly, I'm gonna put it about a little ways from the top. And this is what's gonna hold all the tassel together. Get it all fixed. Fix my tail. So I'm just going to, this is where it gets tricky because you gotta not get that in there. Um, I'm just gonna tightly just wrap that around and that's making the neck of my tassel. Try not to get all that wound up in it. And you can go around as many times as you want to, however you want it. You can have a skinny neck on your tassel or you can have a big neck on your tassel. Um, my strings aren't acting right. Be easier, but I have to hold it with my left hand so I can't do it the other way. So I'm just, you kind of want it tight like that okay so I got that just like that if y'all can see it and like that so then I'm just gonna cut it off up here about like that so then I'm gonna take the tail that I started and the tail that I finished and then I just tie a knot in it um, lots of people have different ways of doing it I have hot glued it down before um, I just like this little method because it works for me and I just tie a knot. Oh, what's Cracker Barrel? Yeah, it's a restaurant in 
they serve like home cooking, like fried chicken and pancakes and country fried steak and stuff like that, if she knows what that is. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cut off these little tails off my knot. Okay, so then we have that. So now, and you can pull down on all your little, some of the little pieces kind of get wild, so you have to kind of pull them a little bit. If I can find, and you're, I'm trying to pull, and there's this one that I want to pull, and I can't find it. Come on. Oh, well. Okay. So where did he come from? I don't know where he came from, but he got out of the loop. Anyway, pancakes are huge. Yes, the pancakes are like that big, and they're so dang good. I've never gotten anything but breakfast because I love it so. So then I'm going to stick my scissor through here. Try to get through all of the loops, but I always miss some. But we'll go back and catch them. Alright, so then I'm just going to cut. And then go back and cut the ones that I missed. Because I always miss some. Like that. Some of these little boogers wanted to hide or something. I don't know what happened. Okay, one more. Okay, so then we have this cute little little tassel. And then I'm going to give him a haircut. I bought a dozen white plastic eggs and I'm going to paint pour over them once they dry. Oh, cool. That paint pour is neat. I've done that once. I've tried it because I wanted just to see if I could do it. It's very pretty though. All right, so there's our little tassel. And the more wraps you go around your hand, the fuller it's going to be. So you can do it with yarn, twine, jute, whatever. So now I'm going to come over here with my bead bracelet. It looks like a bracelet. <laughs> Country fried steak. I always just get breakfast. I cannot get past the breakfast. And I'm just going to cut those long things off so I just have that. And I'm going to come over here and tie this on. Try to get it to where it's going to center up straight. Cracker Barrel has a store on... Yes, they have like a gift shop. Oh, y'all love the gift shop. Mm. I order my food, and then I go and look at the gift shop. I don't know about y'all, but that's what I do. I have to look at all the, the pretty stuff. Okay. So there's our tassel. I don't know if it's going to look cute on that one. And you could do it in jute. You could do it whatever you wanted. Um, it's got a piece of yellow string in it or something. But look how cute that is. I kind of think it looks good on the green one, actually. Let's move the green one over here. Look how pretty that is. See? I don't know what to do to this one. Y'all like that one? With the wood bead? You love it all. Thank you. That's cute, isn't it? And that was just a Goodwill jar. And look how cute that would look sitting up next to that lantern that I did the other night. It would look so stinking cute. Even if you didn't have a top like this and you could put greenery in it, you could put cotton stems or any kind of like grassy looking stuff, it would look so cute. So when y'all see stuff like this, don't pass it up in Goodwill. It's, you know, you can do something with it. But I like this too. I have to figure out what I'm going to do to this one. My husband will not go there. I used to go with my mom. Oh, to Cracker Barrel? Tell him he is crazy. He needs to call me and tell me tell him how, how good Cracker Barrel is. Yeah, I think it looks better on the green, don't y'all? Woo. I think I'm going to do... Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do... I thought I had another size bead out here, but I don't guess I did. I'm going to do this. Maybe that would look okay. I have these little bitty beads from Hobby Lobby, and they're kind of got like little ridges on them. I don't know if y'all can see them. And then, hmm. let's do this. So I'm going to take my twine. We're going to make another, a different tassel with it. Can I see the lantern? I missed that video. Yes, hang on and I'll go get it. Um, it's just right over across the room. Oh my gosh, $180? Oh. Either you fed a bunch of people or you bought a bunch of stuff at the gift shop, Crystal. Yes, 
Yes, I could paint them for sure. That would be pretty. I actually looked to see if I had some painted and I didn't. Um, sunflowers would be awesome. Yes, they would be so pretty in that. The blue and sunflowers, yes. So I hope I'm giving y'all some good ideas. Um, so when you see some glass, you probably have some glass in your craft room. Sunflowers and blue, yeah. Thank you for sprinkling, Kathy. Since you went to Walmart and bought all of the chalk paint. Coloring bleak beads, yeah. I will. I probably will. I'm just going to do this for now just to see. But I have, an, I, have another, um, I have another color yarn for the tassel. Yes, this is the white cotton string from um, Dollar Tree. I usually use jute. But, um, where's the label? Here's the label to the, to the twine. It just says cotton, cotton twine. Yeah. I use jute a lot, but so this time I want to do something different. Look at all y'all hooking up and y'all getting all kinds of stuff and some chalk paint. <laughs> ben, he bought a bunch in the country store and then you only fed yourself. You're so funny. That's my kind of girl right there. She, she went shopping and she ate too. And she ate good on top of that. I love me some Cracker Barrel. That's why Kathy said her husband won't go there. I'm like, he needs to call me and let me tell him all about Cracker Barrel. There you go, Susan. And, you know, Dollar Tree has those plastic. You know how I used that little cup last night? They have that party wear stuff. They have those little plastic vases that have all that crystal. They look like they're crystal cut or whatever. You could do that with those too, and those would work just as good. That'd be pretty. I don't. I didn't have any twine, so I had to get some the other day when I saw it. Get a bubble package tomorrow and send off to work. Look at y'all. Y'all are just helping each other. I think it's awesome. These little beads came from Hobby Lobby, and the big ones came from um, came from uh, Amazon. Look at there. How could I get any more perfect? I didn't even know how many it would need. So I think I'm going to do a different tassel on this one. Am I boring y'all yet? I know some people have left. They're like, okay, we saw what she needed to do. We got to go. But some people had to leave. But it's okay. It's okay. I'd still be doing it if there was 10 people on here. I got this pretty. This came from the Dollar Tree too, y'all. I don't know if y'all seen the yarn. Um, at Dollar Tree. Have y'all seen it? I've just started seeing yarn. So I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do the gray. Just, I just wanted to use my yarn. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Oh, um, well, now I got to find the end. Where is the end? Where is the end? At least the string had where you could find that. Lord, y'all. Still no end. Well. Nope. I'm making an end. <laughs> you live in an RV camper, so my living room, kitchen, craft room is not very big. Yeah. I've been there, done it. I've had to, had to make a small craft area, too. It's not fun. Newly painted wall. Awesome. DT has had it once, but they were sold out today. Yeah, I've, um, I've got the pink. They have pink and blue and green and I think a white. I didn't get the white because I can always use it for something. Pull at. Okay, well, I made an end. It'll probably, I'll probably end in a second and it'll be like that. Okay. So, same thing. I don't even know how many times I went around. I think I'm going to go around the neck of it, though, with um, with that twine. Pull out. I'm not a crocheter. I don't. I just like yarn and stuff to, to do stuff with. Um, I tried crochet one time. Nope, 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 nope. Not for me. Not for me. Couldn't do it. Well, I did it, but all of my loops came out all different... Um, all different sizes. I could never get the hang of trying to get them all tight. Send an email to Dollar Tree about the lack of crash supplies and that they sent and they responded apologetically and said they don't. Huh. You 
you're just going to tell him like it is, aren't you, Karen? I'm like, I'm, let me talk to your husband and tell him he needs to take you to the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> now y'all got me wanting pancakes. Because that's all I ever get there is pancakes. Same thing, just wrapping. I'm using the twine to go around the top of this one. See if I can make it look pretty, maybe. Okay. So I left a tail, and then I just wrapped, and now I'm just going to take my two little tails and tie them in a knot. Yeah, I like the gray. Isn't it pretty? Yard from. And knitted hats with them. Well, good. Awesome. I wish I could knit or crochet. I just, it was not my thing. My grandmother, she crocheted and we have afghans and all that stuff and she would make all kinds of things. I, it's just not my craft. But I can't say I haven't tried it because I have. I did try. Got all the hooks and the yarn and, you know, all the things and nope, wasn't happening for me. Let me give him a haircut. Okay, you'll send me a snore. <laughs> Why does he not like Cracker Barrel? That's what I want to know. Why? So good. And they have a shop. I mean, what's better? What could you be better than that? You're eating and you get to shop too. That's like double whammy. Oh, Emily, if this is what we made. We made... um took dollar, I mean Dollar Tree, uh, Goodwill jar, uh, glass vases or decanters that I found. I spray painted them ahead of time. And then I painted them with chalk paint and just sanded them down and got all the little raised areas. I got all the chalk paint off. So that's what I did like that. Paint, anyone paint the wood gnome? Yes, Patty, um, I think a couple people have painted him. Uh, I haven't even painted the gnome, and, you know, it's my my stuff that I'm selling, and I haven't even had time to paint it, because it was like after the gnome, and I cut some gnomes out, and put them on my side, and started doing all that, it just went crazy, and I have not had a chance to sit down and do one for myself. Never seen a Cracker Barrel. Oh my gosh, we have got to educate some folks about the Cracker Barrel. Okay, well that didn't turn out like I wanted it to, but my little knot's in the front. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did y'all hear that noise? Whoop. If that won't go over the top, guys, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna make it go. I hope it don't tear, there it goes. <laughs> and bees go flying at the phone. Let me tuck all my little ends in. You can see them. I'm just going to snip them all. If it comes undone, I'll just redo it. There we go. Look how cute. kind of like the gray. But yeah, I agree. If you painted the beads, it would look really cute. What is it working right now? That's what I'm working on right now. Oh, cool. You've gotten so many compliments on your gnome. Awesome. You said complaints. I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> I know what you meant, though. But look how pretty, guys. I hope y'all don't pass up any pretty glass jars at Goodwill or, you know, somebody you know is going to throw some stuff out. It's like, no, go to a yard sale, get you some pretty jars. I'm making a three-foot gnome for outside. Oh, Susan, I want to see that. I love me some gnomes. Look how pretty. But, you know, just think the colors you could do. If you, you know, have a little girl and she wants to decorate a room and stuff and you painted it like hot pink, sanded it off, put some, paint these all different colors and put it like a rainbow tassel or some kind of, you know, sparkly tassel or something on there. I mean, it would look so stinking cute, guys. This is so cute. Y'all, something I tell me to get the beads over. Yeah, were y'all helping me get the beads over the bottle? I was worried for a second there. I didn't even think. Um, so anyway, so I hope y'all like this. I do. I think it's just so pretty. Now I got to find a place to put them. I'm going to, uh, oh, I got to show somebody. Who wanted to see the lantern? Somebody wanted to see the lantern. Let's see. I just knocked over Mr. Snowman. 
Let me grab the lantern. Hang on a second. It's just right here. I'm not gone. I'm coming back. Coming back. Coming back. Here I come. Okay, so here's my lantern I did uh, last night. Was it last night? I can't keep up with the days, y'all. Okay, so there's the lantern that we did. For somebody who wanted to see it. It came from um, it came from Dollar General, and it was just this wood lantern. It had a little bit of white on it, and then I took these. Um, I've already put them up. I don't have any on the table, but these are like they're called split balls, and I posted a link for them um, after the video the other night, last night, and I just I just glued them on with some hot glue all the way around, and at the bottom, and this is this came from Dollar General. It's so pretty. And then this was, um, let me get my little plant out of here. Um, this is just a little punch cup or champagne cup or whatever. And from Dollar Tree. And they come in like a pack of six or something. And I glued some of those same smaller, same little beads on there. The little half split balls or whatever they're called. And then chalk painted it. And then distressed it. And then I just put, and I put some greenery in it. And I... Set it down in the middle, like that. Easy peasy. So, so stinking cute. So, yes, I love the lantern. So, I had to put it with my bottles now and take a picture so y'all can see it. Oh, this tassel. Yeah, I sold these in my vendor booth. This is this is the one, actually, that's in my living room on a real pretty bottle and by my television. But it's just grays and, see, there's some of that lace like I get at Goodwill. Like the lace panel curtains. And I'll cut it up like this and do strips and make tassels and stuff with it. So that's what that is. And then this is a woodcut uh, shape of Mississippi. And uh, it's backwards. And that's at the other end. And it hangs off this real pretty bottle in my, in my, um, by my television on my mantle. They don't have much of anything. Oh, I hate that. We have a bunch of them up here. And um, we, I was actually in Meridian, Mississippi when I got this one. And then somebody on here said they went and bought two today at their Dollar General. So, yeah. So, but y'all can tell I like wood beads. <laughs> I just love them. Um, but, yeah, I make these. These are so easy, guys. You just take, do the same thing I did. You just take the beads and string them up. And, you know, you don't even have to put anything on the end. You could put a tassel on both ends if you wanted to. Um, I've done some tassels with, uh, take the, you know, the lamb's ear, that green kind of fuzzy plant. And put actually a lamb's ear leaf coming out of the jute. And it's just in the tassel. And it's so pretty. None of them had lanterns. I wonder if you could get it online. Can you order from Dollar General online? Can I come decorate your house? <laughs> yeah, I still got stuff in my house to decorate. But yes, I could. But um, I, I like decorating. like putting little vignettes and stuff together. It's, it's lots of fun. But this is so pretty. I got to find a place for this actually. I might put it in my bedroom. I need, I need to work on my bedroom decor. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I'm going to get off and go find something to eat for supper. And I just wanted to get on with y'all and show y'all some, some cuteness. But um, So now you're going to go be digging through your stash and finding you some glass. But like I said, Dollar General has these little hobnail looking glass glasses for a dollar. So you can do those the same way I did these and put you some cotton or some lamb's ear or some greenery in it. That would be so pretty. So um, so don't be looking, um, make a Mississippi magnet for Collins Fridge. Oh, I need to, Donna. Um, I'll pay you with food and bakery. And then we'll go to Cracker Barrel, Kaylee. <laughs> you posted the half beads win. Um, last night I, when I did this, was it last night? It was last night. When, yeah, it was last night. Um, I posted the after picture. And in the, in the description of the picture, I posted the link to each one of those beads. So, um, of these, there, there's two sizes. And then I posted a link to the smaller ones because, um, yeah, I used these for the, for the two sizes on this. And then I used a different size on these, on the ones on the cup. They're smaller. Tobacco baskets for my wall that I have. I have three on my wall, Karen. And I got it Kirkland's. They're not real ones. And then I have, I made a tag with some greenery coming out of it and put it in the middle of one of them. And at Christmas, I put stuff in them. But, um, oh yeah, that after picture was awesome. Yeah, I took that little sign that's in my house too that says, Welcome Home. That came, 
came from Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> I figured somebody would ask, did you make that sign too? No, I didn't make that sign, but anyway. Hey, Kay. All right, well, yeah, thank y'all for wishing us luck with Colin. I'm gonna, he's coming up tomorrow and we'll be starting to move him over to Little Rock. So, but he's gonna be close. So I'm excited because he's closer. So um, but he starts his, his new life and his career. I'm so excited for him. Um, you need some of those baskets. I got mine at Kirkland's. I, it's been a while. It's been a couple of years ago when I got mine. But you can, Hobby Lobby has those. They have little ones all the way up to big ones, I think, um, Kathy. The tobacco baskets. All right, guys, I'm getting off. I'm going to go get me and Chase something to eat. And y'all have a good night. God bless you too, Sherry. Um, I pray for every one of y'all every night. Y'all just don't know it, but I do. I say prayers for y'all. Um, so y'all be safe and I will see y'all Friday night and I got to figure out what I'm going to do Friday night. So I'll see y'all then. Okay, guys, be safe. Thanks for coming on. See y'all later. Let me turn this off. Goodbye.